Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, yours truly, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys, as always. Um, you know what? I'm thinking we're going to do something a little bit special for you guys, okay? How does that sound? Good? Alright, sweet. What we're going to do is, I haven't done this in a while, I'm going to do a couple of bath reviews, okay? Some bath reviews. <laughs> So we're going to go over to Golgotha. We're going to jump on to Golgotha B. That is my secondary clan, guys. Pretty soon we'll probably be making a Golgotha C. Um, so be on the lookout for that. You guys can join that. But anyways, what we're going to do right now is a quick base review. We're going to grab a couple bases over here. Um, these guys have been asking for it. So why don't we go ahead and give it to them, okay? So we're going to go up to Tri level 69. He is in Crystal League. And let's check out his base. Um, so the first thing that I notice um, is his wizard towers are level 3. Level 4, that one's level 4, that one's level 3, this one's level 3. Okay, so at Town Hall 9, no. <laughs> Pretty much no. You should have higher level wizards. I don't know why people don't upgrade their wizard towers, but they're so good. You have They're, they're easily my favorite defense in the game. I love wizard towers. Um... And they're very, very important because they do splash damage. So they affect multiple troops at once, just like your mortar. So it's good that he has his mortars triangulated and upgraded. But, uh, try you got to upgrade your wizard towers, man. Uh, before your cannons, before your archer towers, um, before your air defenses at this point. you got to upgrade your wizards. Do that next. It's going to make a huge difference. Um, I love seeing your clan castle in the middle. It's good to see archers in there as well. So good job with that. Um, your air defenses, these two are pretty exposed down here at the bottom. These two are relatively fine. Um, but these two, they, they need a little bit more coverage. I might move this one. Uh, ah, shoot, I don't know. It, it, it should just be in closer. Um, I don't know what you need to do to do that, but people can get into that pretty easily. Um, so air defenses are very important. But overall, I like seeing that you have your wizards in a diamond. I would still upgrade them. They should be at level 6. All of mine are at level 6 right now, and I'm Town Hall 8. So upgrade those to level 6. Your mortars are looking pretty good. They're triangulated as well. Um, it is good to see your clan castle in there, as I said before. So good job with that. Really what you need to do is focus on your wizard towers and try, try and figure out how you can protect your um, air defenses a little bit more. So let's move on to the next one, guys, and see what we can find. We're going to stay in the 60 range today, so let's keep on moving our way down. Let's go to Connor and see what's going on with him. Connor has been a sub of mine since, like, what, I don't know, 28, I think is what he said. So that's freaking awesome. Um, comment below, guys, how long you've been subscribed. That's, that's actually something that's really cool to me um, to see how long some of y'all have been with me. So he has a trophy base. Good to see Clan Castle in the middle. That is always important and awesome. Great to see these mortars triangulated. Um, and they are... Are they level 6? No. Okay, so the mortars are level 5. That one's going up to 6. So good job upgrading those. Um, you got to you gotta upgrade your wizard towers as well. They are level 4. Um, you can get them up to level 6. So I'm sure you'll be here for a while. But um, I like the layout of the base. It looks pretty good. And it looks like your cannons... And Archer Towers are upgraded pretty well. These two Archer Towers, uh, you should do something with those. They shouldn't be that close together. Um, you should spread them out. So I might move this Archer Tower um, maybe over here to where this cannon is. And then move this cannon in. Something along those lines. Because you don't want two Archers next to each other. Then they're kind of uh, competing against each other. Um, so yeah, the main things I would say on this base is definitely work on your wizard towers. Um, it is good to see them triangulated as well as your mortars, as I said, and your air defenses. Your air defenses are are doing really, really well. So good with that. Overall, I think this is a good base. Um, it looks like it flows pretty well. Um, I know you have your spring traps in here, I can imagine, so that's pretty cool to see. Uh, so yeah, good job, Connor. Looks awesome. Let's move on to whoever is next in line. Let's go down to Matt. He is still level 60. Um, well, he's level 61. I'm just going to be reviewing level 60 and up right now. Um, let's see what's going on with him. Dang it, his base is attacked. So, I'm sorry, Matt. We'll try and get to you later. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. But we'll see what we can do. Um, I know Didi, his base has been destroyed recently. Um, let's go down here to 
Roberto Lara. Let's see what's going on with his base, guys. Um, and for those of you who aren't being reviewed right now, try and take things that you're learning from these bases um, into effect with your base. Like things when I say, okay, triangulate your mortars. That means if your mortars aren't triangulated, you should triangulate them. Um, this base actually looks really, really good for a Town Hall 7. I'm not going to lie. Um, so good job, Robert. Uh, you have your mortars maxed for your level and triangulated, so awesome job with that. Um, these are level 3, I believe that one's level 4, so yeah, upgrade those definitely. Um, I do like the little trap system that you have going on in here. I bet that that works really, really well against giants. It's probably quite funny to watch. I love watching giants get spring trapped. Um, one thing I would try and do is move your clan castle inward uh, because they can pull your troops just by deploying on these army camps over here. So I might try and take that and uh, maybe switch it out for this Dark Elixir. Uh, it has an okay amount in it, but people aren't going to be able to steal that much. So uh, I might move that inward somewhat and see what you can get. But overall, man, your base is looking really, really good. You're upgrading your walls. You're really, really working at maxing out. So that is an awesome plan. For those of you who are watching and are thinking of upgrading to a different level before maxing it out, stop it right now because I don't want that to happen for you. <laughs> All that I have heard is horror from people that rush. Um, I kind of rushed Town Hall 8, but I'm catching up there now. Um, I was I was relatively maxed for Town Hall 7, but ooh. Some of you people that rush to Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10, oh, it's got to be miserable. So do not do it. Just be patient and have an awesome base. Why did I go back here? All right, so <laughs> um, why don't we go and find one more um, within that clan. Golgotha, guys, once again, check it out. There is room in there. Um, go see what's going on with this. This right here actually is a fake Golgotha clan. Um, I don't know who this guy is. But he made a Golgotha too. Yeah, you can join it if you want to. I don't really care. Um, Golgotha B. Let's go down here um, and search for another level 60. Let's go to Kramez and see what's going on with his. And this is going to be the last one, guys. Again, um, eventually I'm going to try and do subscriber-based reviews again. It is just so hard when so many of you do not stay in your clan. Um... So be patient with that. I'm going to set up an email. You guys can send me high-res pictures, and I will review your bases like that. That way I don't have to worry about you being in the same clan or not. Um, but that's coming down the line. If you want to be reviewed, go ahead and uh, join Golgotha or Golgotha B, and we can see what we can do. Um, and I will also be creating a Golgotha C relatively soon. Um, but his base actually looks pretty good. Clan Castle is centralized in the middle. It is a Town Hall 8. He has maxed cannons almost the last three are upgrading um that's one thing that i wouldn't do is upgrade three of the same uh defense just because then you're down defenses like if you upgrade two wizard towers you're going to be screwed anytime anyone attacks you um so i definitely wouldn't do that but one thing that i noticed right off is that your mortars are triangulated, but your wizards are not. So I might take this wizard, move it right over here to where this elixir storage is. Take this wizard, move it in here. Uh, take this air defense, switch it out for that archer tower, and then put the archer tower on the corner. Because your wizards do so much damage, you really, really need to protect them. Um, they are easily uh, one of, if not your best defenses, in my opinion. So definitely protect those better. Those are too close to the edge. Um... I would definitely bring those in. But overall, man, this base looks awesome. You do have centralized air defenses. This one's a little outside the walls. Um, so I might try and figure out a way to bring that in. But otherwise, that is looking really, really good. Looks like you're upgrading your walls. Good call on that. Um, <laughs> I am dreading having to do that. But overall, man, your base looks pretty good. I would definitely try and triangulate your wizards. But otherwise, it looks good. Good job with that, Kremez. I'm going to return home and tell you guys how cool you are <laughs> so thank you so much to all of my new subscribers i'm on my computer right now um i am at four thousand four hundred and sixty two so thank you so much to each and every one of you you have no idea how awesome this is um this really was a dream i mean i i, I can say that in all honesty i was thinking, you know, it'd be fun to make a YouTube channel, and you guys are making it possible for me, so thank you so much for doing that, I really, really mean it, um, thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking, thank you for commenting, you guys are awesome, you really are so much cooler than me, um, 
And as always, guys, make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later.